Start by getting your thoughts on Saturday's performance and result from a team perspective first. A much needed win. Yeah, uh, like you say, much needed win. Um, I think everyone knew the importance of the game going into it and it was, it was a must win really. The, the run we had gone on so far wasn't, wasn't good enough for where we wanted to be in, this, uh, in the table. So yeah, must needed win and we, we, we got it in the end. Pressure from the fans, that's yeah. a given, but pressure on yourselves maybe going into that one as well to get that result? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we we've, were we've training that week, we'd, we'd all uh, trained very well. I think the, the group going into the game knew we could get a result uh, and we just did it. You played with a real intensity throughout the 90 minutes. Your manager after the game spoke of almost a, a high-risk strategy to, to get the result. Yes, that saw chances for yeah. Rochdale, but you created a whole host and you really capitalised. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, for myself as well, in that, involved in that, because I, I was probably in that deeper role and I see myself getting forward a lot. So there's a lot of risk with, with what I was doing, but uh, it created some chances. So uh, I think we had to take risks to create stuff. What was the role that was given to you by the manager? What did he ask of you in that game? Um, it was pretty much just get on the ball, um, me and Roy obviously played in that deeper, deeper position um, and yeah, uh, create chances. How does it compare with what was asked of you last season, particularly in this formation which is similar to the second half of last season? Yeah, uh, fairly similar to be fair. Uh, I think I, I know what I'm good at and uh, I think the deep running and uh, movement off the ball and pressing and Winning the ball back, I think I think that's one of the, one of the good things I'm good at. So uh, yeah, I just try to impl implicate that on the, on the match day. Would it fall under the box to box midfield? Yeah, category? I think yeah, I'd, I I think I'd like to say I'm a box to box. I can do pretty much the the sitting, the box to box, or if if it had to be put on me the ten. From an individual perspective, how did you find the performance from yourself? It, it's coming for a lot yeah. of plaudits. So yeah. so what uh, did you make of it? Yeah, it was it was a good game. Huh? I think um, going into the game, I was just concentrating on getting the three points, and after yeah, you get your you get your plaudits, but like I say, I could have a stinker on Saturday, and then I'm the worst player in the world. So uh, it just it swings and roundabouts in it with football, and we'll we'll, we'll uh, go into the game confidence, take the confidence out of, out of the game. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the game. I well, to be fair, I say that um, it was my first game back in front of all the fans at home, so. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I'll ask you about the fans. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about the fans, but we've spoken about how much uh, it was needed, that win, from a, a team perspective and the performance, but how much was it needed, the performance for yourself as well? Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I spoke to you the other week and we spoke about after the um, Man United yeah. game and uh, I basically said that it, when I get my chance, I hope that I take it and um, I'll be sitting patient until I get that chance and I'm hopefully I've, I've took that chance. Did you feel that you had a bit of a point to prove maybe going into that game to show your new manager that box-to-box -box midfielder qualities that you possess? Yeah, um, I think yeah. I think any player who's not playing it will be disappointed why I ain't in the team. I think that's only natural. So obviously I was disappointed, obviously going into the game wanting to prove a point and state my claim in the team. When you get that call, when you get the nod that you're going to start, and yeah. I can't remember off the top of my head how many games it had been since you last started one, but mm -hmm. I know the last start they had in the league was against Exeter. So, yeah. so when you get that call, how do you mentally prepare for a game like that when you know that there's a pressure on mm -hmm. from a team perspective, but also yourself to prove a point? Like any. I honestly, like any. Um, didn't put any more, more pressure on myself. Just know what I can do and what I can bring to this team. And that's exactly what I did. Talk us through the second goal. I wanted to really ask about the second goal because yeah. <laughs> the run on that right hand yeah. side, you pick the ball up in your own half. Uh, yeah, um, I'm fairly quick, so as soon as I seen it was the centre half, I just I knew I had a chance. So I, I gave it a knock and just just ran. And next minute, I was I was in my. We started it obviously in our half, and the next minute I'm in their box, <laughs> and he's pulling me over. I kicked, kicked his leg, and I've gone over. I was just delighted to get the penalty because if I was honest, I was knackered from the run. So I, I couldn't even get my head up to even see who was in the box. But uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I was I seen it was a penalty, I was just delighted. It felt, it, it felt like next minute, it felt like next second, watching it, how quickly you made your way into mm -hmm. their half and then into the And then box. he had one like two seconds later, I went past him and then passed out of play because I literally could not move. 
I was so tired. And I see, have you, have you seen the video? Andy comes out, so the penalty gets given and then Andy comes over and just takes the ball. Don't even say <laughs> thank you to me, all right? Did he say thank you? <laughs> no, to no, no, I spoke to him in the shower. I said, oh, cheers, Andy. <laughs> What about the crowd and the part that they played? Would you have done that run? Would you have put yourself as hard as that, yeah. gone as fast as you did, yeah. without a cop going at you like that in front of you? Uh, no, it definitely, uh, definitely helps when, when the crowd are behind you. It gives you an extra 10% that you, you probably don't think you're off, especially with that attack that late on in the game. So, uh, yeah, uh, I could have done with it two seconds later when I got the ball late. <laughs> I want to go back to, if I can, that, that spell on the sidelines and, and, and the disappointment of yeah. not getting the opportunity. Just talk us through that frustration, maybe. I don't know if I'm putting emotions into your, into your head there, but obviously you get the knock, you're injured, you're out of the picture, you see the team aren't doing as well as they'd like to. You yeah. can't have that difference, make that difference that you'd like to. And then you've got to really battle for your, your place back in the team. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not the kind of person to throw my toys out the pram or do anything like that. So I just go to training, I work hard every week and uh, obviously I've been given my chance now so uh, I'm just glad I took it and proved the, proved the gaffer to be right and put me in the team. Have you found working under the new manager? Yeah, I've enjoyed it, yeah. Um, it's hard work but I think hard work gets you places in any aspect of life, of your job, any, any job in life so hard work is what the fans expect as well so uh, yeah, I'm just delighted. That continues this Saturday. Yeah. Long trip, another long trip yeah. to Newport. I yeah. mean, at least the surface will be a little bit better than maybe the last time that you played. Nah, we played at Cardiff last time, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, and they gave the penalty away last minute. Didn't want to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited. Um, it's another chance to get three points, and uh, hopefully, we go into that with the, with the amount of confidence that we did going to the last game. It's a long old lead, this one, in terms of how far you have to travel. I just wonder how much easier it is maybe this season in comparison to last season and the Covid times uh, that you've Yeah, uh, Covid season was mental, um, just back to back, to, uh, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesdays. Yeah, uh, I'm glad that's put behind us now because that was just ridiculous. Uh, the bodies were never recovering, just trudging through games pretty much, so uh, we've got a lot more recovery this time and be probably a lot less injuries this year. And not to dwell on last season's game against Newport at Newport, but at Cardiff, if that yeah, makes yeah, any yeah. form of sense. But that was in that long string of, I think it was six weeks you had, where it was Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah. So does this season comparably feel just a little bit more normal? Oh, and, and how will you reflect on last season and years to come? Yeah, um, like I say, the COVID season was uh, ridiculous. Um, I think a lot of injuries came through um, the amount of games and the amount of volume we was doing, we was travelling near there and everywhere, not really getting a rest there. Like I say, you just trudge through it, uh, but yeah, we need to put that behind us now and uh, focus on this season. Away from the field, does it offer you the opportunity to still see players, see teammates outside of training, outside of football life? Uh, oh, yeah, probably. Uh, I don't really have a lot of football friends, if I'm honest. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, the lads here I'm good friends with, but uh, outside of football, um, we've all got our own lives. So there's a lot of lads in different places, Newcastle, obviously, yeah. uh, Manchester, places like that. So it's difficult to meet up outside of football, but uh, I see my other friends when I, when I go back home to see mum and that. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, cheers, Tom. You, you said, obviously, you had that long period out of the game, yeah. or out of the team. How was it looking on and seeing the side creating so many chances but just not putting them away and not getting the results that maybe they deserve. Yeah, it's frustrating obviously. You want your team to do well whenever whenever you're watching and stuff like that because you can see the, the obviously like you say the chances they're creating. Yeah, it's just it's just I think it's a lot of frustration within the camp as well because obviously you are creating them chances and not scoring, so uh, yeah, it's just frustration. Um you said pressure for last weekend. Was yeah. that added to by the fact that the performance immediately before had been well below the standard in Yeah, uh, I think the I think I think everyone knew um after the uh what was it the Crawley the Crawley game, yeah, I think everyone knew that it, the stand the standard we'd set ourselves it had slipped. So uh yeah, I think everyone was disappointed after the game and I think everyone's took that game and put 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 it into the the last game yeah. And is there very much the feeling within the squad then that You've had a blip, but it's better that the blip is now rather than yeah, two or yeah. three months time. Yeah, uh, 
I think every team will go through peaks and troughs and I don't think any team's going to just go off and just run away with it. I think it, it, even the teams that run off always have like a little bit of a, a down down moment. But um, yeah, I think we've just got to put it behind us now and just focus on the next one. Cheers. As you were saying, Levi, you know, last week's performance, you pretty much acknowledged this, well, everybody is about the match, apart from the sponsors. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but you obviously set your standards, but I think this manager's already shown that he can be quite ruthless with selection, isn't he? So, yeah. you know, the, the, the old thing about having a fight to keep the shirt, it's yeah. just, it pretty much applies now, doesn't it? Oh, 100%. I think we've got enough quality in the team as well to, for anybody to be taken out and put, put in. I think I, I don't think anyone would really, yeah, I don't think you'd really notice. So, um, yeah, I, like you say, there's a lot of, I've got to fight for this, this shirt now and hopefully I, I keep it. And then the fact that, you know, I think he was sort of saying after the game, he was pretty much saying, it's my way and this is the way we're going to do it. You know, yeah. he's very sort of, Forceful as a, as a boss. I mean, do you, do you, do you like working with someone like that? His track record speaks for itself, doesn't it? If he's obviously doing something right. Uh, I think, like I say, if, it, if it's his way, he, he has a, a proven track record of getting, getting clubs out of this division. So I think you have to you have to do it. And obviously, he's my manager, so we have to do it. And is it, obviously, as a player, I mean, you had Stuart last year, you obviously had Mark Truman in the meantime. When you're having to adapt to different managers and different, different voices, does that take a while? Uh, not really. Uh, we all want the same thing. We all want the same thing. We all want to win games of football. And uh, I think this guy is no different. He wants to win games of football. Maybe the way that his philosophy that he's brought to the club's a bit different. But you all go out on the same. You all go out on a on a weekend or, or a Saturday, and wanting three points, and that's that's what he's brought. And he, and he said pretty even much, more, yeah. And he said pretty much from day one he mentioned promotion, which a lot of managers sort of skirt around the issue and say we've got our own objectives yeah. but he made it yeah. very clear didn't he? yeah yeah uh, I've, uh, yeah it's it, like obviously promotion is what we want and we're at this club what do you know what I mean the minimum is promotion do you know what I mean the minimum is playoffs if that so um, I think like coming into a club and not saying what what you think what, what you want to do in the year is just a bit silly really but obviously, when you set a bar quite high from day one, as as a player, do you sort of think like oh, that's good? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I, I like when I came to this club last year, I wanted to get promoted. Do you know what I mean? It, like obviously the start wasn't great, but when we picked up, in my head I was thinking, let's get promoted, let's get promoted. Obviously, it didn't go in, go that way in the end, like. But I think the minimum we need to be in the playoffs. Um, don't want to rake over bad ground. I mean, talking to Andy Cook the other day, he did mention the Newport game and how. <laughs> How annoying it was. I mean, that, that sort of stopped that because you want a great run at the time, weren't you? And yeah, I think that's yeah. what just made it a bit more painful, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just a bit of a, a, bit of a stink, I had a bit of a stink in that, yeah. <laughs> but in terms of obviously going somewhere like that, it, it, he, he mentioned River, he said we owe him one. Do you sort of think oh, like that? Yeah, do you 100%. Think um, yeah. mm-hmm. It was obviously the last minute, it was, it was a tough one to take, obviously. In uh, Jesse Room after the game, I was good because I felt like I'd let everyone down. But it has to be kind of put behind us, but I still, still remember that we still owe them, owe them to be them away. Obviously, the fact they went on the playoff final. Mm. You know, again, another team that have probably got aspirations to be up there again, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think, like you say, you wouldn't say this last start last season that Morecambe would be where there was. Um, so I think any, any club in this league is probably going to be trying to push for that playoffs. Say so that's probably quite a good warning, isn't it? After Morecambe, yeah, you know, people sort of look down and think it's only so and so, yeah, 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 100%. I think after the Morecambe one last year, you wouldn't have expected them to be anywhere near really, um, with the budget or whatever they've got on there, the facilities and that. I don't really know, right? But I think any team will be wanting to get promoted this year.